this is the beginning of part two of the video on how to use token replacement in .NET Nook skins. So again, what will happen is that the page that is using the home mega menu will connect via its name to this resource file, to this resource file called home mega menu, and I'm going to open it. So here is our new resource file copied based on an existing resource file. We don't really need to care about all this stuff here that is already here, aside from the one at the very bottom. This was in the original resource file that we have copied. We just need to care about this one here. See, in the original one, there was an entry called breadcrumb. And this is the breadcrumb from, for the skin. Now, what you're going to do very simple here is we're going to create a copy of this entry. We can actually just rename it, but I'm just going to create a copy. And we're going to create now our own resource entry here. What is the name of the resource key that we put it there? My user. So I'm going to call this new entry my user. So it will be my user dot txt. That's the new entry. And here under value, I'm going to put the string that I want to show up there. Now, again, just for the sake of example, let's put it uh, my name shows here. So let's just save this. And let's have a look at our site. Let's refresh this. So now we can see my name shows here. Now, this is, of course, not what we want as our end goal. Our end goal is to show the current username there. So here's what we have to do. We have to use a token to, to, to add the username dynamically to that element, to that string so I can use something like username the username token I'm gonna go back to the resource file I'm gonna use the username token so here's an example of a token called user username actually user call username so this will replace automatically this will get replaced automatically by my by the current username. So my, let's put it like this, my username is, and it will show like that. So let's save this, let's go back to the site, let's refresh once again and see what will show up. Okay, so it's showing up, but it did replace. It still shows username, column, sorry, user, column, username. So we want this to get replaced. And the reason it was not replaced is because we missed one more property in the skin itself, in the, in the tag itself. So if we go back to the text tag, we can just add one more property to this tag called replace tokens, yes or no. By default, if you don't put it there, it will be false but we want tokens to get replaced. So I will set it to true. I'm going to save this. I'm going to go back to the site. I'm going to refresh it again. And let's see what happens. Perfect. So now not showing up. My username is admin. Now let's have a look at how this will look like if I'm not logged in. I'm just going to open Internet Explorer and have a look at that. Okay, so here Internet Explorer where I'm not logged in, it will show only the static text that says my username is and there's nothing after that because I'm not logged in. So whenever you use a token that depends upon you being logged in, that token will get replaced by nothing, by an empty string, by again, nothing. So let's go back there. Let's have a look at some other tokens that we can use. By the way, all those tokens are posted in the video post. And they also can be found in the admin manual of .NET Nook. But again, for ease of use, for you can just look down and you're going to, or up, not sure, but you're going to see a list of all the tokens available that you can use inside your skin. Okay, so let's just try another one. Let's say that we want to show the first name as well. 
so we can just go back there to our skin sorry not to the skin but to the resource file and then we can just say anything like uh, I'm just gonna keep the username I'm gonna put a dash I'm gonna put the first name I'm gonna put the last name as well so there's a token for last name and just again just for the sake of example I'm gonna put a bunch of tokens here I'm gonna have the username as well So if I save this and go back to the site, if I refresh, this is what happened. So the username is showing up, first name is administrator, last name is account and email address. Again, if I open that on Internet Explorer without being logged in, not, nothing will show up. Actually, just the dashes because the dashes are static text. So lots of different things that you can do with those tokens. You can actually, actually those are user based tokens, but there are tokens related to the current page, which is called tab. Let's just replace this and put, and put a bunch of uh, tab specific tokens. We have tab name, which is the page name, tab title, which is the, the page title, the tab URL, which is the page URL. Let's have a look here. Let's save this. Go back there once again and refresh this. Okay, the tab name is there, but there's no tab title. Maybe the page doesn't have a title, but it does have a URL, but it doesn't show up here. Anyway, not sure if those tokens are up to date where I saw them, but, but again, we can also put the portal name Let's have a quick peek there, back there. And let's give it a shot. Let's just try two more, portal name and current date, which is another one that is available. So let's save this, have a look back. Refresh. Okay, let's refresh here on Firefox. Okay, so my website is the portal name and this is the current date. Again, if the current date can be formatted the way you want. So again, by using the text, the text um, object within your skin and using a resource file together with that, you can display tokens on your website for different information maybe about the user you can use the user tokens maybe about portal maybe about time current page again you can use that as you see fit in my case i wanted the username and i was able to use that as as an alternative to the regular uh login um token available to the skins okay so again just remember that you have to create a resource file that goes together with your skin and place it inside a folder inside your skin called app underscore local resources. That's it. Thank you very much and bye.